Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. Well, I already did a video, Bomax Free, but Twitter is having <laughs> having some fun with the announcement that Bomax will be returning home. Now, we're going to go through some of the comments and just let you see what some people have had to say. Okay, this first comment here. Uh, they ran a poll of wanting to find out uh, did the cost associated with feeding Big Mac for five years factor, in, factor into the UK government releasing them? Uh, that is absolutely hilarious, man. Um, and you see other people appreciate the UK courts demonstrating forgiveness and understanding. Bo Mac clearly has a positive influence in his community through his work in charity, but a bad choice was made. And I'm going to tell you, that, that had a lot to do with it. I think just uh, what he's done consistently for years in trying to lead uh, young people, old, older people, lead them in the right directions uh, to learn from his mistakes and to overall just try to make uh, great human beings that are part of society are going to be entering society so that they can take what's theirs in the world. And, and I'm sure that... Um, that matter because now you're talking about how do you create a defense and basically it boils out to you know the whole person concept and when they take a look at you now if he had a a consistent history of being a criminal uh and he was on like a, on parole and just arrested last year for a gun charge bo mac would be in a different space right now but that's not the case with him so i am um uh, i'm very grateful that they uh, they were able to work things out. Um, you're already hearing the rumors about, oh, when you got money, they paid the courts off. This is all they wouldn't have done this for someone who's from the UK. To that, I gotta say, hold your horses and stop taking it to the stupid. You know, none of us know knows what transpired. Now, I do believe in, you know, I'm always talking about the secret society, but. I do believe that uh, it's fair to have any conversation, but at the, at the end of the day, we're not entitled to our own facts. We're entitled to our opinions. And I think any conversation is healthy. But in this case, the bottom line is the man's free and, um, and he's coming home and, and, and that's great. Uh, this guy says, blessings, foolish mistake, but he didn't deserve no jail time. I wouldn't be back in the UK for 20 months. And I agree with him on that. In case you wonder why he's saying that, it's because he was given a 20-month suspended <clears throat> prison sentence. So that's kind of like um, what you saw happening with Javante Davis. When Javante Davis was given that suspended prison sentence, and then he went out there and did something uh, supposedly violated a, a parole by some, something was violated supposedly, and uh, they put him in jail anyway. You know, and that's what could happen to Bomac, but he'd be back in jail out in the UK and he could be there for the whole 20 months and that's not something he wants to deal with. So I think uh, I think Bomac is going to... I wouldn't even like this guy. I wouldn't even go back to the damn UK. I would wait till that 20 months is up and then see about going over there. So well, Eubank Jr. and Bomac and what they're doing, I'm not sure what they're going to do, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it because people are miserable. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody tries to set that man up if he returns. You know what? They gotta. We gotta say it, man. I see he has a young kid from my, um, you know, Caribbean parents and, and and friends and family. They say, you know, hey, don't go places you don't belong. They used to say that all the time. If you don't belong there, why are you going there? And that's the kind of thing with with, with Bomac right now. That's what I be telling man. Don't go places you don't belong. You don't belong over there right now with all this crap going on, but you just stay over here where it's safe. You know what I'm saying? And after that 20 months, then, you know, maybe. But I, I still would be careful because there are a lot of people, there are some people who are sour that he, they feel like he's getting away with something that, you know, the, the normal average individual wouldn't get away with. So the bottom line is there's a, uh, I think, being a celebrity or being rich, I think it, it has its privileges from time to time, and that's what we're seeing with uh, in this situation. Um, it is what it is. 
It says we we about to get a bull <laughs> a bull Mac mixtape now. Man's better be thinking everything. Hopefully, lessons to learn, rather to be caught with it than without it. That's a dumbass right there. Rather to be caught with it than without it. So this is the stuff when I read on Twitter. You see how stupid people are. Got time for that one? I don't get time for that. This one says Bud was ready to free him one way or another. Yeah. So they have fun with the little stuff they create out here. But what I will tell you is the bottom line is, man, um, he's coming back. So when he's going to land, I don't know. I know there's concern about him uh, showing up and if he's going to be here for Keyshawn Davis's fight. Um, you know, I don't know all that. But we'll see. One person, a guy named L.P. Jones, this is what you call black privilege. Would be a life sentence if it was a white Brit. So that's, hold on a second. Let me see what they had to say about this comment. Cause that's kind of crazy to me. Black privilege, shut up. Acknowledge your privilege, you thug. Wow. That's why I always say, man, <clears throat> when you come out here to Twitter, Twitter is the most toxic place, um, period. So it is what it is. But that being said, y'all keep cool. People are talking. Some are happy. Some are miserable. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. He's coming back home, and that's good news. I don't think anyone, let me say, that prison, that jail, I don't care if you're in there for a couple hours, a night, a year, 10 years. That place is not suited for any human being. I don't care where you go in the world, all right? I'm in the breeze.